Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making buffalo chicken drumsticks. Wings are good and all, but if I'm going to get that down and dirty in wing sauce, I need a little more meat on my bones. And unless you're from Buffalo and learn to eat wings like a pro before you could even walk, buffalo chicken drumsticks will provide all the pleasure of wings with a higher meat to mess ratio. Let's make buffalo chicken drumsticks. I've got my clean and dry chicken drumsticks here. This is olive oil, red chili powder, green Thai chili powder. You can use any combination of chili powders that you like. Salt and pepper. Oops, maybe a little garlic powder too. Sorry to break the news, but the best way to get this mixture all over the chicken pieces is with your chicken fingers. Get these good and coated with the spices. Spicy! Set this aside and wash your hands. Arrange the chicken pieces on a baking sheet. Place the legs into a preheated oven and bake. Take them out halfway through and flip them around. Continue baking until they're sizzling and crisp. The internal temperature should be at least 165 degrees. Now to make the buffalo sauce. I've got a large bowl here and this is cayenne pepper sauce. And this is melted butter. Get this good and combined. Mm -hmm. Then you just want to run each chicken leg through the sauce. Like so. And I should mention, you're going to need a boatload of napkins while eating these. Unless you want your guests wiping their greasy orange fingers all over your curtains. Plate these up. Serve with celery sticks. Maybe some radish if you like and a little blue cheese dressing to soothe the burn of the buffalo. And there you have it, buffalo chicken drumsticks. Get the buffalo chicken drumsticks recipe at averagebetty.com. I hope you give these buffalo chicken drumsticks a try and dramatically increase your meat to mess ratio. Find me on Facebook and Twitter and drop by my home at averagebetty.com. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, that's a little bit of